Let's get right to it. I was one of the first people in the AI space to say the data scientist role was dead. I'll put a post I authored on Quora about the demise of the data science role I authored a few years ago in the comment section. In the real world, we don't need any more pontificating statisticians. We need programmers with serious data skills that can understand and work the end-to-end -end machine learning pipeline, just not one facet of it. I was working in BI when the Harvard Business Review labeled the data scientist role the sexiest job in the world. I was fascinated. What does this new role entail? After reading the article and doing a little more reading, it hit me that it was nothing more than BI with a predictive component. As an aside, we DBAs and SQL Server developers were working on BI projects long before this title was created. You might be thinking, what's the difference between BI and machine learning? It's a good question. BI stands for business intelligence. Before machine learning burst onto the scene, BI was simply data mining. We would use similar models to analyze data. The difference is the end result. With a BI project, we hand our results over to the business, and they make decisions based on what we found. In machine learning, we create predictive models that can be used to make predictions. A predictive model is far more effective because its results can be immediate. You don't have to wait for the BI types at all. You simply pass in fresh data to your model and you get an immediate prediction. The sexiest job in the world was already being done by BI analysts. The only thing added was a predictive component. So why did I author my post in the depth of this role? This job was almost identical to what the BI types were already doing. The article about the data scientist being the sexy role and others in the press and colleges around the world that highly educated statisticians called data scientists were going to swoop in to build these predictive models. Turns out that's not how it worked out. At the time, I was working for a top tech company when several data scientists were hired. The company tried to interweave them into the BI teams, but it didn't work out. They had zero real-world data skills. Two of them had never written a SQL statement, yet all the data they were going to build their models with were in relational databases. One of them asked the SQL developer and other data analysts to author the queries for her. That didn't go over so well. One was eventually fired, and the other two were eventually moved to the business side of the house and placed in silos that weren't within IT. I knew it wasn't going to be an isolated case. This was going to happen again and again and again in the real world. That's why I authored an article about the death of the data scientist role. Turns out I was correct. If you put someone in a data-related role with no experience working with real-world data, they're going to fail, regardless of their educational credentials. Working with real-world data is a lot different than building models from nicely cleaned CSV files you download from the internet. All the math in the world doesn't replace real-world data skills. The data science role has fallen on job boards now for the last four years running. The top role in all of AI is now the machine learning engineer. Most data science roles listed on job boards are really for machine learning engineers anyway. Lastly, did you know the top AI researchers don't use the data scientist title? Not one of them. Go look. Look at Carparthy at Tesla, Goodfellow at Apple, Norvig at Google. What about Andrew Ang? Right, they've never used the title and they don't use it now. How about Fifi at Stanford? How about Hazabis at DeepMind? How about Lacoon at Facebook? Not one top tier player in the AI space has ever, nor will they ever use the data scientist title. I think that speaks volumes about the role. So, while the role isn't truly dead, it should be. The real world needs more machine learning engineers that can work the entire end to end machine learning pipeline, not just the modeling aspect of it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.